Cool. Hey, how are you? My name is Jeremy. I'm going to be reading from this book. Uh, this book, it's a devotional book. It's a three-minute devotional for men. I didn't put the men part in the title because I think it, God's word is for everybody. It's for the world. For God so loved the world, the world, he gave his only begotten son to die for us. To die for us so we shall not perish but have everlasting life. Everlasting life, eternal. That's forever. So when you really think about that, like uh, I was just watching uh, Louis Giglio, Passion City Church, uh, five months ago he gave a sermon. He was talking about it what actually eternity is and what what God was doing and if you think about it this way he had a rope he used a uh, used a long long rope in the middle of the rope there was just a little section off that he had a red tape on and uh, and that and that was when that little section was when I think he was trying to describe when he created the universe, the heavens, and then the earth, and and then it showed an end to it, a little bit, and then we were just a little, little razor thin piece in there, and then the rope just went forever there, but on the other side was the beginning before the earth, God was, was forever before the earth, way millions of years, he was saying, I mean, uh, so, but he decided to create Earth for his purpose, for his goodwill, for to please him, whatever he wanted to do. So, uh, pretty cool. So, for God so loved the world, the word of God is for everybody. And uh, Jesus, for everybody, he is the free gift. And Jesus is the word. Uh, so, he is the word of God. Uh, he is God in flesh that came, came down from heaven's off his throne in heaven. And came came to earth through a virgin birth, through a womb of a woman and a birth, and lived a perfect sinless life, pleasing to his father for um, 30 years, about 30 years until he was uh, baptized by John the Baptist, something like that. And then he went through, a, through, through the desert for 40 days, 40 nights alone, being tempted by the devil, you know, with no food or drink, only the word of God. And his faith and trust, trust in his his father, Jesus' father, All right? So, uh, the heavenly father. So, uh, yeah, it's a pretty cool story. So, word of God for everybody and Jesus being the word. And the only way into heaven and to the father is through Jesus Christ. Cool. I'm glad we took care of that. That's pretty clear. When I heard that, I'm like, Okay, and then uh, and then we're called to have a relationship with God. Uh, you can have a close relationship, or you can have a not good relationship. Just like here on our planet, uh, you can have a close relationship with my daughter, or I can have a far, not a, such a good relationship with my daughter. Anybody, anybody really. Um, us Christians are definitely family members and Christians, uh, especially Christians, get really close to one another. Hopefully, that's the way, and there's no walls, but. Uh, with Father God, we have full access to Him. We have access to His Word to find out how He is and what He's done and what He's doing and what He's going to do. And His Son and His Apostles, the disciples, the prophets, even and what they said about Him and what He did and what He's going to do. And uh, it's amazing that we have access to that and to His knowledge and to His wisdom. And since he created all that, he controls all things. All things. He controls all things. But uh, one thing that did happen in the very beginning in Genesis was sin did enter the world. The world was perfect. Created Adam and Eve and all the, the animals. But then sin, eat the, uh, sin came into the world. The serpent uh, told Eve, and Adam was right there too told Eve that it was okay to eat from, uh, eat the fruit of the, the tree of knowledge uh, and life, what is it? And uh, it's okay, God just doesn't want you to be like him, and she uh, she ate it, and uh, sin entered the world from that very moment. It was perfect before that, so if you ever question why bad things happen, it was because of that. And uh, so sin is here uh, as 
never know, say it, it's planet death. I mean, I won't take it that far because there's some awesome, awesome things here because God is still in control. But um, did let the enemy enter the world. And it'll call it the God of air in the Bible, Satan. So um, we have free will. We have choice. I choose to follow God, right? You have to make the choice. You cannot be on the fence lukewarm. I will spit you out. So you have to choose. Are you going to be the enemy? Or you're going to be with the Heavenly Father that created all things. It knows all things and loves you so, so very much. An unlimited love no matter what you've done. No condemnation, no judgment. Just love. All right? Cool. Good. I'm glad we cleared that one up too. All right, cool. Let's get to the devotion. Anything else we got to clear up? Nope, I think that's good for now. <laughs> Light for your path. All right. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun, shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Proverbs 4, 18. You, no, your way may seem unclear at times, but if you stay close to God, living in His presence, you'll share in His spirit and His holiness. You may not feel all that enlightened or righteous much, much of the time, but as long as you're seeking the Lord and doing your best to obey Him, He will hear your praise. <laughs> He'll hear your prayers, guide you, and protect you. Then slowly, but surely, just as the initial glow in the sky at dawn gives way to the full light of day, the sun will rise and God's blessing will be made manifest in your life. It may take a while, and you may have to walk cautiously at first, feeling your way in the semi-darkness. But God has promised to be with you, so He will be. The Bible says that Jesus, God's Son, is the true light which gives light to every man coming into the world. John 1, 9. Walk in His truth, and you won't be in darkness. It says it right there. Walk in His truth. You won't be in darkness. Okay? Got it. Cool. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Very nice. All right. Dear Father, please lead me in the way I should go. Make it clear that you're with me by giving light to my path. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Simple prayer. Simple prayer. You can say anything you want to God. Uh, he is a holy, righteous God, but He loves you. But just ask anything in His name. All right? Just speak to Him. He is uh, your Heavenly Father, and He loves you, and He wants a relationship with you. So simple prayers like this. You can... Come boldly to the throne and ask him anything. Uh, but this is a good one. If, um, I always pray for more obedience, more faith, uh, be able to receive love and to give more love, if you understand that. I always pray uh, for more light like this. I always pray for that or uh, close this door or open this door. A big one that I pray for is anything evil or demonic. Get it away from me. Get it out of my house, out of my workplace. That one, that one really works. Uh, you'll see those things flee away when you pray it in Jesus' name. Uh, when light arrives, darkness has to leave. It can't. It can't hang around. It will struggle. It'll struggle and try to stick around, but it cannot stick around because God is way too powerful, and uh, and we are too. We have that same power within us. So we say. Get behind me, Satan. So, yeah. So don't even give in to the uh, the evil desires. Don't even pay him no mind, really. Don't uh, just keep your keep your eyes on me. So Jesus says, just keep keep your eyes on me. That's kind of the uh, and very symbolic too about in the uh, in the boat when Peter was gonna walk on water. When in fact he did walk on water when Jesus was out there in the water. Uh, he did, but the second that he lost faith and took his eyes off Jesus is when he went under. Uh, so keep your eyes on me. All right, three-minute devotional for men. The path of the righteous is like the morning sun shining ever brighter till the full light of day. Proverbs 4, 18, the path. And that does uh, coincide or that goes along with Dear Father. Please lead me in the way I should go. Make it clear that you're with me by giving me light and light to my path. In Jesus' name, I pray so.
pray in Jesus' name every day as many times as you want. Talk. Talk to God. Be in a very close relationship with Him. And I guarantee you, guarantee you will have a much more fulfilling, peaceful, joyful, joy-filled life. We won't get into the storms or stuff. Even through the storms, guess what you're going to have? Peace about it because of your faith. Joy, you might find it kind of exciting. Like when I'm going through something, I'm like, I wonder how God's going to work this one out. Except for some things really get to me and the enemy knows what gets to me. So, um, But I know the enemy knows what gets to me, so you got to turn that around. Romans 8, 28, right? God will turn all things into good, so we just have to uh, outsmart the enemy. All right, cool. Love you guys. As usual, stay in prayer. Stay in the Word of God. Get enough sleep. Keep good nutrition. And uh, keep participating in physical activity that is safe yet effective. All right? And stay in the body of Christ. All right? Body of Christ. You must go into the church or be around uh, the body of Christ, other believers, all right? And encourage and motivate one another. Got to do it. Worship and praise. These are things that you'll just want to do uh, because how awesome it is. Trust me on that. Love you. Bye. See ya.